Hey, this is Paisley. Uh, I'm filling in for Tuesday. Uh, I just cut my hair and uh, I was feeling really oily. So I did a face mask. That's what this peely stuff is. And uh, I don't know about this stuff. My girlfriend told me to do it. But uh, it's supposed to help me not be so pimply and gross. So, uh, this, <laughs> this video is supposed to be about how long we knew that we were trans. And, uh, I would say if I knew what it was when I, <laughs> when I was younger, I would have known, like, a long time ago. Uh, but as a kid, like, I didn't even know what being gay was. So. Alright, so I couldn't concentrate with a face mask on. Anyway, um, if I knew as a kid that you could transition to a different gender, I would have you know, known long ago. I, I wanted to be in Boy Scouts instead of Girl Scouts. I like playing with, you know, boy toys, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I liked hanging out with the guys. Um, I mean, I always, I never felt like a girl, and I just thought, you know, oh, I must be a tomboy. But, uh, when I was in my late teens, I really started to realize, like, other girls don't feel like this, and... I didn't want to be a girl. I didn't know if I wanted to be a boy, but I definitely didn't want to be a girl. So I just considered myself genderqueer for a while. And I just knew that I wasn't comfortable with my body looking like this and people think of me as female. And as a while, for, I mean, for a while, I really had to think a lot about like, is this that I want to transition to male? Or is this just a phase? Or is this just that I'm uncomfortable with myself? you know, do, do I really want to do this? And I would see people that, you know, were like, oh, I was genderqueer for a while and now, you know, I want to transition. And I was just like, how do they know? Because I'm still so unsure. And then just, you know, the more time went on, I just realized, like, I can't grow up to be an old woman. I can't keep being seen as a girl. I can't keep getting called ma'am. You know, I need people to see me as male. And it's been at least a year that I knew, like, for sure, like, I need to be male. And so, I mean, I guess that's pretty much how I knew. Um, in other news, yesterday I had um, an appointment um, with the same, at the same place that I went to a month or two ago to have a consult about the trans care at Chase Brexton in Baltimore. Uh, so I went back for like a medical appointment and it was like a checkup, you know, they did my weight and blood pressure and, you know, all the normal stuff and then asked me questions and then um, talked about testosterone and um, I signed the informed consent forms and then I went and I got blood work and scheduled my first shot for July 9th. So that's two weeks from today. So I'm counting down the days. I can't wait. Um, it's really exciting. I, I just can't wait to start testosterone. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's what's on my mind right now. So if I'm still filling in two weeks from now, hopefully you'll get to see my first shot. So I guess that's about it. So I'll see you next Tuesday.